Hello, students, families, and friends of the class of 2024. My name is James Lupini, and as the proud principal of DePew Middle School, I would like to welcome you to our eighth grade class night. Due to circumstances beyond any of our control, we are holding this year's ceremony virtually. Our class advisor, Mr. Cena, and our class officers have worked tirelessly and have not only been creative, but also very cognizant of the precautions that we have to adhere to during the COVID-19 pandemic in planning this event. The purpose of this ceremony is to celebrate three wonderful years at DePew Middle School. Over their time here, this class has grown so much not only as students, but also as people. Just three short years ago, you were all sitting in the DePew High School Auditorium for sixth grade orientation. And now, in four very short years, you will all be sitting there again for your high school graduation. This class of 2024 will always have a special place in my heart. The dedication, perseverance, flexibility, understanding, and commitment you all displayed especially during the last 15 weeks of your middle school careers, are characteristics that are admirable and will last you a lifetime. It truly has been my pleasure and honor to see how much you've grown and more importantly matured. I am overwhelmingly proud of you and confident that you are ready for your freshman year. I know that the students of the class of 2024 are not only prepared for DePew High School, but are going to have a positive impact and make that school even better just as they did at DMS. I would also like to recognize the families of our class of 2024. Your work as parents has truly made a positive impact on the lives of your children. During these last few weeks, we've asked you to be substitute teachers, tutors, and counselors. You have demonstrated patience, adaptability, leadership, and the utmost support for your children and our school. As a parent of three remote learning students myself, I want to applaud you for your efforts in balancing all aspects of this closure without any advance notice. It was a challenging task that you all not only met, but rose above and your children, our students, are better because of it. In closing, it has truly been my pleasure to work with all of you. Thank you students and families of the class of 2024 for letting me be your principal. I am proud of each and every one of you. And please never forget our traditions and motto, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Hello, as most of you know, I'm Aubrey Corbett, the class treasurer. And I am Maya Bush, the class secretary, also both being the co-vice presidents. These times have been quite uncertain and we know this isn't ideal for the end of our eighth grade year, but we can truly try our best. It's crazy to look back at how little we were growing up to go to high school next year, making the class of 2024 even stronger. Although we aren't in school, we are still working quite hard outside of school with our staff and students making great adjustments. We want to say a huge thank you to all the administrators, teachers, staff, students, and parents for making this time easier. The teachers and staff of DePew Middle School have helped not only the students, but the community. Whether it's adjusting the Zoom calls, online teaching, and even helping to give food to those in the community. Along with a huge thanks to Dr. Raby and Ms. Fry, along with the administrators, and Board of Education for continuing to deeply care and support the students, not only emotionally, but by funding new programs to better our new learning experience. Not only should we thank the teachers and staff, but also the parents. I can imagine it is not easy being home with us teenagers who are bored out of our minds, but thank you for putting up with us. You have turned your lives upside down, making kitchens into desks and making sure that once again you can teach us the way. And most importantly, the students. We're all bored out of our minds, but I have kept up, we have kept up with our schoolwork. We have adapted to the new way of learning and have continued to grow our knowledge. DePew has done an amazing job to make this precedented time easier for everyone. This is a huge thank you to not only the students and families, but the whole community. Now enough of us talking. Go enjoy the recognition and awards you deserve. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome. So, as we all know, this school year has been very, very difficult for teachers and students, honestly. Um, but knowing that we got through half a year of online schooling without direct classroom help is honestly very impressive and it really only makes us stronger. Now, we did miss a lot of cool things like Cedar Point and um, Deal Day and some other really fun extracurricular activities, but you know, hopefully we still have a good summer ahead of us. Um, on a more positive note, I wanted to thank everybody for personally making my school year 
one of the best I've had in middle school, and I'm sure that goes for everybody. I'm sure a lot of people can agree with that, but um, hopefully we can have a great one next year too. Hi friends, it's Mrs. Ryder. I would like to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of you. You have had success in spite of these unprecedented times. If this experience has taught us anything, it's the power of perseverance. Moving forward, as you encounter all of the ups and downs of being a high schooler, take stock in knowing you have made it through 100% of your bad days so far. Those are pretty good odds. You are all amazing. It has been an honor being your school counselor and getting to share this time with you. I wish you well at the high school and I send you off with lots of love and encouragement. Congratulations. Now I'd like to do the Attitude, Effort, and Achievement Awards for my classes in social studies. These students had excellent attitudes and contributed to class and worked hard all year long. I'd like to honor Abby Bortz, Reagan Wentland, Mackenzie Navoyski, Layla Fix, Maya Bush, Alexis Cavaretta, Crystal Wainwright, Zach Budzinski, Braden Hoke, David Paradowski, Thomas Perini, Lena Tran, Alyssa Kazmierczak, Abby Zyazilek, Tony Weber, Jacob Zelazinski, and Jenna Liss. And I would like to add a little um, award called, I'm calling the Afterburner Award. And these were students who did a phenomenal job in social studies with distance learning, who really accomplished just every single task we asked them to do. And this includes Michael Alexi, Kaylee Ann Brown, Amila Edwards, Megan Pantages, and John Redmond. Congratulations, everyone. This award is called the Paul Kowalski Award, and it is named in honor of a former social studies teacher at DMS. It's given to a student who has a strong interest in social studies and who also has shown good citizenship. This year's winner, he has a very strong interest in social studies. He enjoys it quite a bit, and he is very dedicated to doing his best. He achieves awesome results because he's, he keeps trying until he is satisfied with the job that he's done. Uh, this year's winner is Riley Scudo. Congratulations. This next award is for a new course this year called Innovation Station. Uh, this is an eighth grade elective in its first year. These kids gave up their lunch period every other day in order to participate in this. And the course is supposed to encourage creativity, innovation, uh, professional skills through different activities and project-based learning. And I really have to say that these kids uh, were huge risk takers and huge innovators and in that they helped to create this course in the first place. And so I wanna acknowledge all of these people who took this risk to try this, this new course. Uh, Stacy Bryan, Maya Bush, Alexis Cavaretta, Scott Cooper, Kaden Cummings, Ellie Evangelista, CJ Koenig, Giovanna Macchioni, Michael Merriman, Amber Maluski, David Paradowski, Samantha Pintabona, Kelvin Rowland, Grace Ruda, Dean Shaw, Taylor Thompson, Krista Wainwright, Max Weiglang, and Reagan Wentland. All of them were really true innovators for joining this and, and taking those risks. Um, however, there was one person who really stood out as a leader this whole year. I believe hers was the first group to get out of the escape room when we went on our field trip and has shown strong leadership the entire time. In fact, she is one of only a handful of students who was brave enough to continue on with their own individual capstone project even during a uh, coronavirus. So this year's first award for excellence in Innovation Station goes to Reagan Wentland. Congratulations. This year's Outstanding Achievement, Attitude, and Effort Mathematics Certificates will be given to those students in Algebra and Math 8 who went above and beyond the required work. They put forth their best effort each day to persevere through the challenging curriculum and even distance learning for the last three months of school. They entered every day with a smile, a growth mindset attitude ready to tackle even the hardest problems. I would like to recognize each of the following students in Algebra and Math 8 for your hard work this year in math. I am so proud of each and every one of these students and I wish you the very best next year in the high school. 
So, I would like to congratulate the following students for achieving this certificate. Alyssa Ackman, Scott Cooper, Aubrey Corbett, Julie Durham, Colin Fleming, Evan Kinderman, Jacob Mills, Michaela Seawood, Addison Smazniak, Ellie Evangelista, Tylee McRae, David Paradowski, Louisa Pick, Riley Scudo, Taylor Thompson, and Anthony Weber. Congratulations. The Algebra Plaque Award that I'm presenting is for excellence in mathematics. This award is always so difficult to choose just one student because everyone is so deserving to be recognized for taking this challenging class. The student that I've chosen to receive this award has shown a natural talent for algebra, the ability to find different methods to solve some pretty complex math problems. The student has demonstrated a positive attitude throughout the entire school year and adds her own little art doodles to keep our worksheets looking great. The student put for the extraordinary effort, had excellent class participation, and consistently had high scores on all quizzes, tests, and assessments, such as the STAR. At this time, I'm proud to present the Excellence in Mathematics Plaque Award for Algebra to Sasa Nguyen. Congratulations, Sasa. The Excellence in Mathematics in Math 8 is also another difficult award to choose, just one student because of how many excellent students I had the pleasure of teaching this year in my Math 8 classes. The student that I have chosen to receive this award is a wonderful student that puts extraordinary effort into all her class assignments. She is willing to help her classmates and never accepts anything less than her best work. The student maintained a very high standard for herself throughout the year and really has continued her strong work ethic, ethic throughout the distance learning. At this time, I'm proud to present the Excellence in Mathematics Plaque Award for Math 8 to Alexis Cavaretta. Congratulations, Alexis. Hi, the last plaque award that I will be presenting today is the Joseph Z. Ryback Award. Mrs. McCurry and I never like to make this decision on our own, so we seek out other teachers' opinions, especially Mr. Seeley and Mrs. Ahmed in the Phys Ed Department, due to the very specific criteria. Here is a little background on this very special mathematics plaque award. Mr. Joseph Ryback was the first principal of DePue Middle School. He attended DePue schools where he excelled in mathematics. He was also a great athlete at DePue and later played at Niagara University. Before becoming an administrator, he taught mathematics at DePue High School. In addition to his leadership abilities, he was also known as a fine gentleman. With those qualities in mind, this year's award goes to a student who had an outstanding average in math, played multiple sports, including softball, varsity volleyball, and JV basketball. What a great accomplishment as an eighth grader to add her skills and talent to play for the DePue high school teams. I'm sure she keeps her parents and herself busy playing on travel teams outside of school. This student was also a wonderful officer for her eighth grade class and the vice president of National Junior Honor Society. Her coaches report that her leadership skills both on and off the field really were able to motivate her teammates. I am sure the coaches next year are looking forward to this young lady participating in their programs and teachers having her in her class. At this time, I'm proud to present the Joseph Z. Ryback Award winner for the 2019-2000 school year to Maya Bush. Congratulations, Maya. I reached out to Coach Ahmed, who wrote such a wonderful little piece to support Maya's recognition of this award, that I will read it right now. Mrs. Ahmed wrote, Maya was a member of the Wildcat Varsity Volleyball Program this past fall. In just a few short months of coaching Maya, it was easy to see that she is an outstanding individual set apart by her high level of dedication to all she undertakes. Her commitment to her goals, her high set of values, and her understanding of the value of giving back. Maya earned her starting position as a setter. 
She also earned first team divisional all-star all honors as a freshman. However, Maya doesn't just shine on the court. Her ability to jugger, juggle extracurricular activities, lead team building activities, and do well in school says a lot about her character, hard work ethic, and her inner desire to succeed. She always brings a positive attitude wherever she goes. She is the type of athlete, person, that all coaches want on their team. She has a self-confidence, self-discipline, and a strong sense of motivation that is very trustworthy. She also takes constructive criticism seriously and works hard to improve in areas where she can grow. I can't wait to have three more seasons with this outstanding young lady. So congratulations, Maya, and thank you, Coach Ahmed, for those um, kind words. Enjoy. The Outstanding Attitude, Effort, and Achievement Award in Mathematics will be given to those students that displayed a high level of accomplishment, a consistent effort, were prepared for class every day, motivated, and a positive attitude throughout the school year. Math may not be their best subject, but they tackled their work every day and did their best. These students also took the initiative to improve the grades whenever possible. Congratulations to the following students. Kaylee Allen, Stacy Bryan, Zachary Budzinski, Abby Bortz, Abigail Dizlak, Jenna Liss, Megan Pantages, Katherine Piatkowski, John Redman, Calvin Rowland, Lena Tran, Mia Vanelli, and Lauren Zubler. Congratulations again. The Academic Excellence Award in Mathematics is given to a student who demonstrates mastery in mathematics. This student achieved an overall math average of 98% for the school year. He has shown a natural talent for math and a positive attitude throughout the school year. He also displayed a strong foundation in problem solving, critical thinking skills, and a work ethic that surpassed many of his peers. This student consistently maintained a very high standard for himself and never let a problem get the best of him. He is an excellent role model to his peers and helped his fellow classmates when they had difficulty with the math concept. It has been a true pleasure to teach him for two years. I would like to present this year's Academic Excellence Award in Mathematics to Thomas Perini. Congratulations. Hi, Mrs. Pylon here. In addition to my plaque award recipient, I also wanted to acknowledge students who showed outstanding effort this year. The effort award um, does not really uh, pertain to grades. So some of these recipients have grades in the 90s, some do not. It's mostly about their work ethic and how much uh, they have worked so hard all year before the school closure, but even more importantly, during this school closure, which is, is very difficult to do um, on their own. So all of these students have really worked consistently throughout the school closure, have participated in Google Meet, sessions, have reached out to me when they've had questions, and just show that they're hardworking young adults. So I would like to recognize, for effort, Alyssa Ackman, Scott Cooper, Evan Kinderman, Jenna Liss, Sasa Nguyen, Alexis Cavaretta, Abby Bortz, Ethan Barrett, Olivia Gugamos, Tyler Pagano, and Ellie Evangelista. I thank you guys for all of your hard work and I wish you the best of luck in the future. I am here to acknowledge the award recipient for my English Language Arts plaque for 2020. Um, so this particular plaque award goes not only to the person who works very hard all year, completes all of their work, and the work is done extremely well. It is also an award for somebody who shows natural flair for English. It is somebody who reads because she enjoys reading, not because she's told to read. It's somebody who writes for enjoyment. It's somebody who has shared poetry with me that they have written um, throughout the year. 
It's somebody who I've watched grow as a writer as well as grow in confidence. And this person has also continued to work the same way throughout the school closure, which is uh, a tremendous uh, achievement. So I'm really super proud of her, and I know she's going to go on to do great things no matter what she chooses to do. Um, but my plaque recipient award this year is Ellie Evangelista. Congratulations, Ellie. Hi, everyone. Mr. Cena here, currently with more hair. So that's a fun thing. I am here to present a few awards today, uh, the first of which are my Attitude, Effort, and Achievement Awards. And these awards go to our students in eighth grade who have always tried their best, uh, have always put their best foot forward on all the assignments that we completed, um, every unit that we did, um, and it has continued even since our closure. Um, they have continued to be a part of our weekly meetings, our weekly chats. Um, and they have continued to do incredible work uh, in, in each assignment as we uh, have been apart uh, for the past almost three months now. So additionally, the vast majority of these students have had uh, grades in the 90s, averages in the 90s for all four quarters and, and for all uh, throughout the entire year. So uh, that's an, an added bonus and, and certainly something to be celebrated as well. So I would like to recognize the following students for their incredible attitude, effort, and achievement in English 8. Haley Arnone, Maya Bush, Aubrey Corbett, Julie Durham, Colin Fleming, Tylee McRae, David Paradowski, Trisha Richards, Riley Scudo, Michaela Seawood, Addison Smazniak, Taylor Thompson, Lena Tran, Lucas Wolf, and Lauren Zubler. Congratulations, guys. So my next award that I would like to give out is my Excellence in English Language Arts Award. And uh, this award goes to a student who is this year is a quiet presence in class, but he is also a very gifted uh, student when it comes to the area of detail and expression in his writing. Uh, he's already reading at a college level, has been since the beginning of our eighth grade year, uh, and I have enjoyed watching him as he has blossomed into a, an incredibly gifted writer, um, and that has been uh, quite a joy this year. Writing, expression, detail, and an overall command of the English language seems to come naturally to this young man. He was concerned with making sure what he submitted was his absolute best work, regardless if it was a piece of daily homework or a complete essay. Uh, in our writer's workshop units this year, if I made a suggestion on a draft of his writing, it was not only taken but was added to with more vivid detail vivid word choice and imagery that proved that he was always thinking about ways to improve his writing in ways that we hadn't even covered in class yet. Um, I've enjoyed having his quiet leadership and his presence as a part of my class this year and uh, it is unfortunately something I missed out on not having him in seventh grade um, but I know that he will be an incredible gift to the high school next year. Um, so my Academic Excellence in English Award goes to Colin Fleming. Congratulations, Colin. I have another award that I give out on class night, and that is called the Atticus Finch Award for Integrity. Uh, most of you know I have a slight obsession with To Kill a Mockingbird, um, so much so that I actually give out an award named after the uh, book's main character and, and hero, Atticus Finch. Uh, in Chapter 5, um, Miss Maudie Atkinson, which is a neighbor of Atticus, um, speaks to Atticus's daughter Scout and says this about him. Atticus Finch is the same in his house as he is on the public streets. In other words, what you see is what you get. And then again in chapter 24, which is my ultimate favorite chapter, we hear this about him. We're paying the highest tribute we can pay a man. We trust him to do right. It's that simple. So. In my opinion, these two quotes are at the heart of what integrity is, and in my eyes it's one of the most important traits a person can have, and it's why I spend so much time harping on it in my classroom, 
it, why I spend so much time harping on it at home with my own children. It's what I see in my wife. It's what I saw embodied by my parents as I was growing up. And likewise, we have those students in our schools and in our classes who embody all that's right in society today. They're real, they're humble, they're selfless, they're dedicated, and they're what I hope I see in my own children when they're at this age. And it was particularly difficult this year to choose one student who I felt was the most deserving of this award, which is a testament to you, uh, eighth graders, and your entire class. So after spending nearly a week going back and forth between two students I had ultimately decided on, I thought it was only fair to recognize them both. The first student is a, an incredible young lady who will absolutely thrive at the high school for the next four years. And I've been blessed with three young boys at home um, who you may even hear in the background. Um, but should I ever have a daughter, I would hope that she's everything like this young lady. Uh, our other winner is someone whose dedicated and diligent work ethic and similar taste in music is um, almost unmatched and certainly stood out um, in one of my largest classes that I had this year. So it is my absolute pleasure to present my Atticus Finch Award for Integrity to Tylee McRae and Lucas Wolf. Congratulations, you two. Hi, this is Mr. Pond, and I I'd like to, in addition to my plaque awards, I would like to recognize the following students who've excelled academically this year in spite of the challenges the COVID-19 pandemic has created. These students never quit learning and growing, and as a result, they have not only persevered, but have positioned themselves for continued success in an uncertain future. I'd like to recognize the following students in Regents Earth Science, Alyssa Ackman, Alexis Cavarata, Maya Bush, Julie Durham, Ellie Evangelista, Colin Fleming, Evan Kinderman, Michaela Seawood, and Lucas Wolf. In eighth grade physical science, I would like to recognize the following students for their efforts. Tyler McNair, Nick Vicante, Ellie Zielkowski, Tyler Pregano, Nina Tran, Tony Weber, Johnny Augustine, Calvin Rowland, and Nathan Pollock. I appreciate all of your hard work during these difficult times. Thank you. And I'm proud to announce my plaque awards for the 2019-2020 school year. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all of our lives, especially education. I hope in the future, we can return to our normal ways of life, including how we instruct the future leaders of our society. My science plaque awards are awarded to the highest achieving students in Regents Earth Science and Physical Science during the 2019-2020 school year. These two students excelled academically throughout the entire school year, including the period of distance learning. These students are not only great students, but exemplify numerous positive character traits, such as respect, responsibility, leadership, and compassion. I'm very proud to award my thanks to Sasha Nguyen and Riley Scuttle. Congratulations on your outstanding performance this school year. This year for the plaque award for my science aid class, um, it goes to a student that has the highest average in my science class. Uh, she also has, shows up every day with a smile, um, very nice, turns everything in and does anything that's asked of her. Um, so the plaque award for this year goes to Louisa Pick. Uh, it was a pleasure being your teacher, and um, I wish you all the, the greatest successes. The following students are going to receive a certificate for academic excellence and attitude in Spanish. And I would like to congratulate everyone on your excellent work while we were in school this year and while we were distance learning from home. The award winners are Haley Arnone, Zachary Budzinski, Maya Bush, Alexis Cavaretta, Aubrey Corbett, Ellie Evangelista, Evan Kinderman, Gabby Labruna, Jacob Mills, Michaela Seawood, Riley Scudo, Lena Tran, 
and Jacob Zielinski. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. This year's plaque award winner for Spanish always went the extra mile in both seventh grade and eighth grade Spanish, completing all of his work and being excited to learn about the Spanish language and the Spanish culture. So I'm very proud to give the plaque award this year for Spanish to Evan Kinderman. Congratulations. Bonjour les élèves. Here we are after two years of French together. Two years ago, you walked into my classroom barely knowing a word of French. And now here we are two years later and you're heading on to high school. Some of you are even gonna be heading on to France with me next year, I hope. Um, sad that we had to end our two years together this way, but I'd still like to honor some of the people who have kept fabulous averages the last two years and are always ready to participate. Their hands are up to go to the smart board. I hear the choisi moi, pick me, yelled out. And the people who I'd like to recognize for the last two years of French excellence are Addison Smazniak, Crystal Wainwright, Lucas Wolf, Stacy Bryan, Emma Lee, Jenna Liss, Catherine Pietkowski, Calvin Rowland, Alyssa Ackman, Scott Cooper, Julie Durham, CJ Koenig, Giovanna Macchioni, Tylee McRae, Louisa Pick, and Lauren Zubler. Felicitations, congratulations guys, and good luck at high school. Bonjour les élèves. This year's eighth grade French plaque award goes to someone who has always done their work, has been a great participator in class, and goes beyond what is needed in the classroom. She even took some extra time on her own to create us her own rap video and song for the question words. And she didn't do it for extra credit or anything else just because she wanted to. That is somebody who deserves the plaque award. And this year's plaque award goes to Sasa Nguyen. Congratulations. Felicitations, Sasa. Hey guys, Mr. Pagano here. Just want to give out uh, two awards for Attitude Achievement Art. Uh, these are awards given to students who have not only shown they have artistic ability, but also a willingness to get better, always trying their hardest and always helping others. Uh, the first student um, I had first semester, and even though I did not have her this semester, over the pandemic she has done incredible things, sending me drawings almost every week, incredible drawings, chalk drawings on the sidewalk, just a true talent. I can't wait to see all the things she will do when she gets to high school, and that's Alyssa Ackman. My second student um, is possibly the most talented drawer I've had in my 20 years of teaching, and she is such a sweetheart. Her voice may be quiet, but her artwork speaks loudly. She is an incredible talent. I can't wait to see the things she's going to do. And that's Stacy Bryan. I wish you guys so much luck. I can't believe the way this ended. This was not the way I wanted it to be. I wanted to be on the stage and see all your faces and enjoy the moment of uh, class night, which is special. We're going to get through this. Uh, you enjoy yourselves over the summer. Stay healthy. Uh, and really best of luck in high school and get involved. There's so many fun things to do up there. Uh, we got something for everybody. Take it all in and don't miss a thing. Good luck guys and remember eat a bagel about twice a week and always go to Zorba's. Hello everybody. Uh, I bet you never thought you'd be doing so much school work at home, huh? Um, I'm here to present this year's Excellence in Technology Education Award to a, a student. As always, it's uh, very difficult to just narrow it down to one particular person. Um, so I really started to think about the quality of work that we were getting through this distance learning time in addition to um, the quality of work that was done in the classroom. And this person, I think, set the bar extremely high. Uh, this person's attention to detail was phenomenal. 
and every work assignment that she submitted um, has been top notch all the way through it. So I would like to present this year's Technology Education Award to Michaela Seawood. Thank you. Hello, it's Mr. Sealer joining you from my basement. Uh, first, I want to start off by congratulating the 8th grade class for all of your accomplishments through your middle school years. Uh, the last month or two has been a trying time to say the least, and I hope that you gained confidence in your ability to problem solve. Uh, I hope that you uh, gained the ability to communicate through technology with family and friends, and uh, I hope that, again, you have an independence now that has made you into a stronger person moving into the high school. So with that being said, it's time to award the uh, physical education plaques. These go to two eighth graders who always lead the class with good sportsmanship and consistently show great effort. These students are positive role models and are also great teammates by encouraging others when needed. They also compete to have fun but also try their best, win or lose. And we only had plaques for two. There are a lot of deserving uh, classmates, but uh, the top two that we thought were deserving in the eighth grade class was William Kelm and Alina Tran. So to the both of you, congratulations. Uh, to the rest of the class, enjoy your summer, be safe, can't wait to see what you're going to do in the high school next year. So until we meet again, stay safe. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Ahmed here. I am so excited to be here today um, because I have the honor of handing out the award called the 2020 Excellence in Athletics Award. And this award will be going to students who have participated in athletics at DePew at either the JV or the varsity level. Um, I think this is a very special award because it is very difficult to be able to juggle not only um, athletics, but academics as well. Um, these students have made good choices day in and day out to not only represent themselves, but to represent their team, their program, their school, and the whole entire Depew community. Um, I am very, very excited to see um, these students grow um, athletically and academically, and I'm very, very um, proud and happy to announce our winners. So with that being said, our winners of our 2020 Excellence in Athletic Award goes to Maya Bush, Julie Durham, Jenna Liss, Addison Smazniak, Gabriel Soto Olmeda, Jaden Torres, and Mia Vanelli. Congratulations to all of you. I am so, so very proud of you all, and I can't wait to see uh, what the future holds for all of you. So congratulations. I miss all of you, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. The Family and Consumer Science Award for Academic Excellence goes to a student who is always enthusiastic maintains an excellent average and demonstrates good character. This role model is Stacy Bryan. Congratulations to Stacy and to all eighth graders for your hard work and dedication in order to move on to high school. Wishing you the best and have a great summer. Take care. Hi eighth graders. Congratulations on finishing middle school. This year was definitely an interesting one Middle schoolers typically love being around their friends, and I'm sorry that your eighth grade year couldn't finish that way for you. You'll have lots of memories to make together in the coming years in high school. I am here to present two awards. My first award is a certificate award for Emily Odo. Emily is receiving the School Spirit Award because Emily regularly dressed up for school dress up days and holidays and her enthusiasm always made us smile. It shows that she loved being a member of DePew Middle School. My student Anthony Gates is being awarded the General Studies Plaque Award. 
This means that Anthony was a great student in all the classes that he participated in. He was a leader. He completed his work. He was responsible. He was respectful. And he always used his resources to problem solve. Congratulations, Emily and Anthony. And I'll really miss you in my class next year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Yelich, and for class night, I am first presenting the Band Director's Award. The Band Director's Award goes to a student who has not only excelled on their instrument, but gone above and beyond through middle school years. This year's recipient has been first chair several times from sixth grade all the way through eighth grade, participated in all county band auditions every year. This student will be awarded with a plaque that is put up in the band room with the names of all the Beveran Directors Awards recipients throughout the years. This year, please congratulate Michaela Seawood for the Band Directors Award. The next award is the Woody Herman Jazz Award, which goes to an outstanding student who gave tremendous contributions to the jazz ensemble. This student's name will be added to a plaque that is displayed in the band room. Even though this year's jazz ensemble only performed at the Christmas concert, we were very close and being ready to perform for the talent show as well as our spring concert. This year's award goes to a student who has been in jazz ensemble for the past two years and in this current year played on two different instruments which was drum set and bass guitar. Please congratulate Lucas Wolf for the Woody Herman Jazz Award. Hello everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Peter Blanford and I'm the chorus and general music teacher at DePew Middle School. Each year, it is the chorus teacher's duty to present two eighth grade chorus members with the Behavior, Attitude, and Musicianship Award, or otherwise known as BAM Award. This award is given to two students who exhibit positive behavior and attitude and display leadership through their music making in and out of the classroom. And although we had a bit of a different end to the year than we expected, I still had wonderful opportunities to get to know many of the eighth graders. And I can say assuredly that there are many students who are deserving of this award. However, as I must choose two, the students I chose exhibited all of these qualities. They led by example, always ready to make music, and went out of their way to be in extracurricular musical activities, such as all county chorus, and jazz choir. It's my pleasure to announce that this year's recipients of the Behavior, Attitude, and Musicianship Award are Katherine Piatkowski and Scott Cooper. Thank you for your hard work and congratulations to the both of you. The DePew Teachers Organization Award recognizes students who excel in the areas of scholarship, community, and commitment. Students are nominated by their eighth grade teachers and the nomination list then goes out and is voted upon. And one boy and one girl will be the recipient of a $35 check, uh, courtesy of the DePew Teachers Organization. And so before I announce the winners, I would like to recognize all of the nominees uh, from this year. Uh, for the boys, Colin Fleming, C.J. Koenig, Evan Kenderman, Jacob Mills, Thomas Perini, Riley Scudo, and Lucas Wolf. For the girls who are nominated, Abby Bortz, Maya Bush, Alexis Cavaretta, Aubrey Corbett, Julie Durham, Ellie Evangelista, Jenna Liss, Tylee McRae, Sasa Nguyen, Catherine Piakowski, and Michaela Seawood and the recipients of the $35 check and the award winners this year are for the boys, CJ Koenig, and for the girls, Julie Durham. Congratulations, CJ and Julie. 
The Attorney General's Triple C Awards program is a tradition which recognizes the commitment, character, and courage of New York's hardworking students. Two students were nominated by teachers at DePue Middle School to receive this award. Both students consistently display courage, commitment, and character in their academic pursuits, participation in community service, and their leadership skills among their peers is outstanding. Students like this give us hope for a brighter future. Congratulations to Maya Bush and Alexis Cavaretta, this year's recipients of the Attorney General's Triple C Award. The State Comptroller Student Achievement Award is given to deserving students every year. The award recognizes students who have shown academic excellence and the potential for leadership through involvement in activities that improved the school or community. Congratulations to Ellie Evangelista and Tylee McRae, this year's recipients of the State Comptroller Student Achievement Award. So the last thing that I wanted to do tonight was to uh, recognize two particular groups of students. The first group um, is my group of 37 lead kids who made up our lead anchors this year and they were instrumental in making the events that we held this year absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't really think there's any other way to describe it, but they were fun and they were engaging and they were creative um, and they really got kids up and moving and excited about these deal days that we had this year. Um, and I know that when we had those days, I would drive home from school with a complete smile on my face just because of all the positive feedback that we got about those days. And the feedback was mostly rooted on how incredible it was to see these kids take the lead and plan these events, clean them up, organize them, um, and really put in the effort that they did. So for all of you who made up that, um, that group of my lead anchors that we had, thank you from the bottom of my heart and from all the teachers. It was absolutely incredible. It's a shame that we didn't get to do the last two events that we had planned because we really had some really incredible, fun things planned. Um, but I know that that will um, uh, come along um, eventually for you at the high school as you guys get into student senate and as you guys get into your leadership classes and stuff. Uh, of that nature. It's it's going to be something that uh, is going to be incredible because you'll be leading it. So I eagerly await that. Um, the second group that I wanted to say thank you to and recognize um, is my group of officers. And uh, it seems like every year I say how we couldn't do everything that we do without our officers. And it's true. And, and I mean every every word that I say. But I think that this year, given everything that we've had with this closure, it has been incredible to see my officers take the reins and, and really take over a lot of the responsibilities um, that come with um, planning something like this, uh, doing a class night video um, that is uh, in all of your emails waiting for you guys to, to view them. Um, and they have really gone above and beyond um, their call of duty <laughs> uh, this year. And I am incredibly grateful for, for the three of them who have been absolutely um, instrumental at making um, everything go smoothly and uh, everything um, be as seamless as possible. Sponsoring, um, uh, bringing pizza to our cafeteria workers and recognizing them for Lunch Hero Day and reaching out to Tops um, with thank you cards that they had created. Um, it's just a, a testament to them to how um, selfless they are and how uh, loyal and dedicated they are to DePew and to our community and to each other and to each of you. Um, so for uh, the three of them, I am incredibly, incredibly grateful for all of your work. Um, and I know that your classmates and the families and administrators who are watching feel um, 
the exact same. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure working with you guys this year and seeing everything that you guys have accomplished. So, Trisha, Maya, and Aubrey, from the bottom of my heart, we thank you so, so much for everything that you've done. And I know that you guys are going to continue to do incredible things as you move up to the high school next year. So, thank you very much.